Hey to all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. So, new brewery time on the channel, and for this one we're going to Italy, to Rimini. We are taking a look at an offering from uh, Abira Amarcorn. Uh, Le Arte della Birra, the art of beer. Uh, we are taking a look at their Amamora Imperial Coffee Porter, brewed in Italy. Uh, there you go. Uh, ale brewed with Italian coffee and Demerara cane sugar from Malawi, out of uh, Northern Africa. 355 milliliter bottle, 9%. There you go, uh, contains, uh, what does it say there, I can't really see, uh, well, yeah, malts and uh, barley malt, uh, blah, 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 well, yeah, that's it, basically, so a lovely Italian style bottle, I have to say, uh, yeah, there you go, uh, let's give it a pop, see what we have, there we go, touch of smoke, Here we go. Yeah, that sounds very nice. An Italian coffee porter, guys. Uh, sounds absolutely right, right on the spot. Uh, I mean, Italy, they sure do know how to make their coffee. There we go. Right. In view, then, what do we have? Uh, one to one and a half fingers, I would say, of a nice tan colored, slightly, yeah, slight tan colored head. And uh, there you go. Yeah, not yet black, perhaps a pretty dark. Definitely looks like a porter. Yeah, aroma. Don't really get much on the nose, to be to be fair. Slight, uh, slight malty, maybe, maybe a hint of coffee, but it's ever so slight. Yeah, I don't really get much on the nose, to be absolutely honest with you guys. So I guess we will just have to go for the taste then. Cheers, everybody. Okay, okay. So we definitely got more on the flavor that we uh, than we got on the nose. To be fair, uh, all right. Let's go for a second sip. Uh, so definitely coffee initially. Quite a big and good bitter coffee surge. Then it kind of very quickly moves away and you're left with a kind of a uh, boozy, boozy red berry wine-like flavor. That's what I'm getting. Almost like a hint of nuttiness in there, but not the nuttiness that I would want. Uh, weak hint of nuts, kind of. Peanut, hazelnut, perhaps very, very faint, but it's definitely there. A uh, little bit of a boring aftertaste, to be fair. Uh, doesn't really, uh, doesn't really suit me. It's not really up my alley there. Uh, it's not a bad beer, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about it. Uh, let's go for the final sip, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so, you got an initial multi coffee, multi, malt driven coffee flavor. So, a little bit of malt, a bit of coffee, good coffee taste, and then it kind of very quickly vanishes. And you get that kind of nutty, wine like taste. Uh, very, very dry aftertaste to it, to be fair. 
really dries my palate out totally. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, guys. Uh, never, never had anything from this brewery before. Uh, Birra Amacord, and uh, we we took a look at their uh, Am Amamora Imperial Coffee Porter. Nine uh, percent. You definitely get the alcohol in there. It's definitely quite boozy, but I'm not super impressed. To be fair, but oh, sorry, quite carbonated as well. Uh, yeah, if you like your coffee porters, I guess you will probably like this one. You definitely got that uh, hazel nutty, nutty flavor to it. Uh, but it's not really that appealing, to be fair. Uh, it's quite boozy. Got, got some red wine notes and all that. Uh, for me, three out of five. Thank you for watching.